Poonam Gaud from Janaki Das Kapoor Public School. Dear students, in the previous lectures we have studied the convex mirror, concave mirror and plane mirror and the image formation by all the mirrors. Now in today's lecture we are going to study mirrors formula, sign convention and how can we solve the numericals on the basis of mirror formula. Here we are going to study first the mirror formula, then the sign conventions used in the image formation and after that we will solve the numericals related to the mirrors. Here the formula is shown to you on the screen that is 1 by f is equal to 1 by v plus 1 by u where f is the focal length of the mirror, v is the distance of the image from the mirror and u is the distance of the object from the mirror. Now the sign conventions. Question arises what are the sign conventions? Sign convention is a set of rules to set sign for the image distance, object distance, focal length and for the mathematical analysis of the image formation. This is the image of concave mirror shown to you on the screen and having five arrows. What is the meaning of these five arrows? The mirror has two sides that is left hand side the negative x axis, the right hand side positive x axis and above the axis that is towards the positive y axis and below the axis that is negative y axis. So the first arrow given that indicates height upwards positive. This is representing you the object placed on the left hand side of the mirror and pointing upwards. That's why its height is taken to be positive. The second is the incident ray. It means the ray from the object is traveling towards the mirror. The third arrow, the distance against incident light. It means the light is after reflecting back after striking to the mirror and it is moving towards the object side that is the distance against the incident light is taken to be negative and the light or the distances measurement along the incident light are taken to be positive the fourth arrow represent heights downwards but negative the downward height means the object is pointing towards the negative y axis and the heights are taken to be negative according to the rule. The fifth arrow is representing the distance along the incident light. It means if in some cases the image is formed behind the mirror and the distances are measured along the incident light, in that case the distances are taken to be positive. In this way we can formulate these rule in sequence and you have to learn these rules as it is for the implementation in the numerical calculations. Now students you have to learn these sign conventions as it is and according to it what are the most important points. Number one the object is always placed to the left of the mirror. Number two, all distances are measured from the pole of the mirror and the distances measured in the direction of incident ray are positive. It means towards the mirror the distances are taken to be positive and the distances measured in the direction opposite to the incident ray are negative. And the last one is the distances measured along positive y axis are positive and along the negative y axis are taken to be negative. These are very very important rules for the calculations in numericals. Continue with the image. This image is showing you an object placed towards the left hand side of the mirror and a real and inverted image formed. Here P is representing the pole. Now mark point E that is a straight line. Here DP and DE are almost equal. It means we consider that point E and P both are same. F is the focus of the mirror. 
C is the center of curvature of the mirror. A B represent the object placed above the axis that is taken to be positive. Here A dash B dash is the image that is below the axis. That's why it is taken to be negative. I have written here students that AB is the object height and taken to be positive because it is above the axis. A1, B1 is the height of the image that is HI taken to be negative. We can write them as H1, H2 also. Here PF is equal to EF is the focal length represented by F and taken to be negative because it is towards the left hand side and measuring against the incident ray that is PF. You cannot write it as FP. This will be wrong. Now next is PC. PC is the radius of curvature. The length is radius of curvature and is equal to capital R. This is also measured against the incident light that that's why you will write it as negative according to the rule. You cannot write it as CP. That will be wrong. The next is PB. PB is the object distance. You are again measuring from the pole. P is pole. PB, the object distance. That is against the incident ray. That's why negative. Next one is PB1. That is the distance of image represented by V and it is negative because again it is against the incident ray. This value of distance of image may be positive if the image is virtual. How it can be? In the next slide I will show and compare the image virtual formed and how its value is positive. Students, we have two type of images. One is real and another is virtual. Keep it a point that always the real image is inverted and virtual image is erect. And in these two images, the image formed by a concave as well as by a convex mirror is shown to you and both these two images are virtual in a specific case. When the image formed is virtual, you can see that the image is towards the right hand side, it means behind the mirror. And if the image is behind the mirror, then the image distance that is V that is taken to be positive because according to the sign conventions, it is given that if the distances are in the direction of incident light, then it is taken to be positive. Hence, in case of virtual image, the V is positive. By keeping in mind the all the sign convention, the sign of U, V, F, H1, H2 or you can say HO or HI, you can calculate the numerical. You have to put the numerical value first and then apply the sign conventions. Let us solve our numerical. Here it is given an arrow 2.5 cm high is placed at a distance of 25 cm from a diverging mirror of focal length 20 cm. Find the nature, position and size of the image formed. Here first of all understand the statement. An arrow 2.5 cm high. What is this? This is the height of the object that is H1 or you can say HO the equal to 2.5 cm. Always the object is placed above the x-axis. So this value is H1 is equal to plus 2.5 cm. Now next is is placed at a distance of 25 cm from a diverging mirror. Diverging mirror is convex mirror. So the focal length of convex mirror sorry the object of every lens is placed towards the left hand side so u is always negative so u is equal to minus 25 centimeter now the con diverging mirror is having its focus towards the right hand side right hand side it means the distances are along the incident ray so f is equal to plus 20 centimeter now students you are given here u f and h1 
first of all using the mirror formula you can calculate the image distance put the values in this formula 1 by v is equal to 1 by f minus 1 by u after rearranging let me tell you one thing never put this sign convention in the formula always put the sign conventions with the numerical value otherwise if you will adjust it with the formula so you have the wrong calculations by putting these values you have v is equal to 100 by 9 that is 11.1 centimeter it means the image is formed at a distance of 11.1 centimeter you are able to see that this value is positive the value of v is positive and v is positive it means the image is formed behind the mirror and the image formed behind the mirror is always virtual and virtual image is always erect that's why the nature is virtual and erect the position is behind the mirror at a distance of 11.1 centimeter now size is remaining here you know the formula for magnification of mirror that is height of image divided by height of object h2 by h1 is equal to minus v by u put these values v is given to you u is given h1 is given calculate h2 the h2 is 1.11 centimeter it means the image is 1.11 times larger than the object now in this way you can solve the numerical now one try one more numerical here it is an object of height 1.2 meter is placed before a concave mirror or focal length 20 centimeter so that a real image is formed at a distance of 60 centimeter from it find the position of the object and what will be the height of the image formed similarly an object of height 1.2 meter it means h1 is equal to plus 1.2 meter it is placed above the axis and it is a concave mirror the focus of concave mirror is on left hand side so focal length is minus 20 centimeter now v is given to you a real image is formed a real image is inverted image and that is formed at a distance of minus 60 centimeter and real image is always in front of the mirror that is towards left hand side so it is minus 60 centimeter now you have to find u and the height of the image again take the formula 1 by v is equal to 1 by u plus 1 by f calculate the value of 1 by u after rearrangement and you have u is equal to minus 30 centimeter this is representing that the object is placed at a distance of 30 centimeter in front of the mirror now calculate the height of the image put the formula h2 by h1 is equal to minus v by u and you have minus 2 h2 is equal to minus 2 of h1 h1 is given to you and the value is minus 2.4 meter this negative sign represent that the image is inverted and the image is 2.4 times larger than the object okay got it students try one more numerical an object 4 cm in size is placed at a distance of 25 cm from a concave mirror of focal length 15 cm. Find the position, nature and height of the image. The object height H1 that is plus 4 cm, U is minus 25 cm, focal length the mirror is concave so real focus that is on left hand side minus 15 cm then put the values in the mirror formula and you will have v is equal to minus 37.5 centimeter and it shows that the image is minus sign shows that the image is real that is inverted towards the left hand side that's why it is having negative sign the nature of the image you can write from here that the image is in front of the mirror that is real and inverted you can find the height with the formula of magnification and height comes out to be minus 6 centimeter. 
remember one thing student if in the question it is given that the image is formed on the screen or in the wall on the wall it means the image is a real image and real image is always inverted if the image is not obtained on screen or wall it means the image is virtual image and virtual image is always erect so practice more numericals i will give you the assignment solve those numericals in your notebook and for any query you can ask thank you and have a nice day for any query contact to my personal number 870